Now more than 24 hours since the publication of the report into child abuse in football, Crew Alexandra have responded to the findings and their links with Barry Bennell, the paedophile football coach who worked at Crew in the 80s and 90s. Crew, in a statement today, of course, Crew uh, employed Barry Bunnell as a youth coach uh, in the 1980s and in the 1990s. They've apologised and they've expressed regret and they said they have uh, deepest sympathy to all the victims and survivors of uh, Barry Bunnell. Uh, but they've apologised saying if there were warnings that ought to have led the club to do more. Had the club had uh, any suspicion or belief that Bunnell was committing acts of abuse, uh, either before, during or after he left the club's employment, the club would have informed the police immediately. It's the wording uh, if that requires some uh, investigation, given what Clive Sheldon QC published in his own review. He believes it's likely that three directors of crew uh, discussed concerns about Bunnell, which hinted at his uh, sexual interest in children. Uh, what he says is there was no evidence that the, the advice of a senior police officer to the club's former chairman to keep a watching brief on Bunnell were heeded. The club should have also uh, ensured that there were appropriate arrangements in place for boys staying overnight at Bunnell's house and that boys should have been p spoken to periodically uh, to check they were being properly cared for. Had such steps been taken, says the Sheldon Review, this might have led to boys uh, making disclosures to the club. Club. He goes on to say uh, in his full examination of Crew Alexandra, in my view, there were enough warning signs for the club to have done more. He goes on to say, uh, I acknowledge that the club may have not got to the truth, even if they'd sought to monitor the situation. However, the club should have tried to do more, given what the club knew about Bunnell. Those are the words of Clive Sheldon QC uh, in, in the, uh, uh, one of the opening paragraphs of the, uh, their statement today. They used the phrase, the club is truly sorry if there were in fact any warning signs that the club ought to have uh, done, led the club to have done more. We tried to speak to Dario Gradi uh, yesterday and today. No comment uh, from him. The, the Football Association Chief, Exec Chief Executive Mark Bullingham uh, confirmed in an interview uh, yesterday uh, that uh, Dario Gradi, of course, suspended from football in 2016. That suspension remains in place and that it effectively is a ban for life. We couldn't ascertain from the FA, and we've gone back to them today for some clarification, exactly what he's suspended for and some clarification about the suspension, but given Mark Bullingham's words, which he chose carefully in the interview he did with us, effectively uh, banned for life. Well, the Offside Trust is a support organisation set up by survivors of childhood sexual abuse in football. They have asked the government to take action against Grady. A statement read, uh, Dario Grady was awarded the MBE in 1998 for services to football. The FA yesterday confirmed that it has been banned from that he has been banned from football uh, since 2016 and indefinitely for safeguarding issues. We're writing to Cabinet Office to request forfeiture of the MBE. We'll be making similar requests to the PFA and Football Hall of Fame to revoke other honours. Symbolism matters. Well, the FA apologised unreservedly yesterday, acknowledging they failed the children they should have been protecting. Gareth Southgate thinks it's important that his employers face up to the mistakes they made and is warning that complacency can't be allowed to set in. Everybody's got to reflect on a period of history where things were different and were done differently and not with the level of care that every child that plays sport deserves. So I think there was recognition of um, errors that have been made in the past, which was important to acknowledge. Um, I think we are in a different place now, you know, when uh, to retain my coaching licence, I have to go through a lot of safeguarding checks and every, everybody within the game would be the same. But we must never be complacent about that, um, about that area because, you know, unfortunately, um, events or activities that involve children sometimes attract the wrong sort of people and we've got to make sure that not only our game but society is safe for, for our young people. And if you would like to access support for any issues around child abuse, sexual abuse or exploitation, more information is available on our website. Please visit sky.com forward slash help forward slash articles forward slash viewer support.